What is up everyone? Fighting Cup is starting later today, so let's get ready for it. This is gonna be a real quick one, since there isn't too much to this meta. There's really only like 50-ish available species, and of those, only like 10 of them are viable, basically. And even within those 10, there are greats. I think there's a pretty clear top 5 in this meta. Starting with the dragons. Hakamo and Komo -o are two of the best mons in this meta just because Dragon Tail hits hard and it's neutral everywhere. Nothing resists Dragon in this meta. Well, besides Lucario, but are you gonna run Lucario when half the Pokemon are gonna be running counter? I don't think so. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're really getting tired of these dragons. But yeah, they got Dragon Tail, they got Dragon Claw, which comes out quickly. On Hakamo, I don't think you wanna run Brick Break actually, uh, unless you. You see Lucario, I guess, then you want Brick Break, but in, de in general, I think Dragon Pulse might come in handy as like a nuke endgame move. But in general, I think single move works honestly perfectly fine as well. Uh, Komo O, very similar, of course, uh, close combat as well. If you have Hakamo, go for Hakamo, it's just more tanky, but Komo O, good too. Then the other three to round out the top five are, you know, the Pokemon that resist counter Sneasler, Buzzwool, and Toxicroak. And honestly, might want to include Heracross in there too. Heracross is definitely strong as well. Uh, just, it's just worse than Buzzwall. Uh, and the moveset isn't ideal. Like having Rock Blast, which is resisted by basically everything as your bait move. And then, well, you'd want to run uh, close combat as your charge move. Having a debuffing charge move, your main damage charge move, isn't ideal. Uh, of course, we have other Pokemon that resist counter, like Zepdos Glaring as well. But, well, first off, no one has that. Uh, secondly, it's charge boosters aren't that good, so I wouldn't recommend it if you, if you have it. Uh, but yeah, so mainly just Sneezer, Buzzle, and Toxicroak are the best Pokemon that resist counter in this meta. Basically, some of the only ones besides Heracross. Uh, but yeah, Sneezer is just amazing because it has uh, like neutral Shadow Claws and super effective Area Oasis for everything. Only issue with Sneezer is that it's incredibly squishy. For example, you beat Machamp in the ones because of the Area Oasis, but you get countered down in the twos. Like, Sneasler loses basically every single two shield matchup out there. So, it's gonna be good, but in this top five, I would rank it at number five, just because you basically just get counted down everywhere. It's not like Buzzwall, it's just insane. Uh, you resist counters, uh, you do neutral counters first, basically everything else. Good moveset with lunge and the buff and super power just nuke stuff. You could also go power punch instead of super power. Really depends on where in the team you fit it in, to be honest. As a lead, Power Punch might be the way, since you can start powering up those counters early. But in the back, when shields are down, Super Power could really come in handy. Toxic Pro, really good too, for the same reason as Buzzwall. You resist counters to neutral back. Nice neutral Mud Bombs. Sludge Bomb, a bit expensive, but will come in very handy for like Buzzwalls and Heracross as well. It's a, it's a fighting type that counters. Uh, this thing which is quite nice now here's the problem with this top five <laughs> here is the problem with this entire cup all right here's the problem with this entire cup these pokemon are incredibly hard or basically impossible to get uh, these dragon types of course extremely freaking rare all right extremely freaking rare it's very difficult to get buzzwell you had to go to go fast seattle to get it sneezler you can basically only get it if you made a second account, right? The only, like, top-tier Pokemon in this meta, I would say, that is easily acquirable is Toxic. That's the only one. That's the only one. Besides that, all the top, top, top-tier Pokemon are locked behind something, which is kind of ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous. It is like you could replace Buzzwall Heracross, but Heracross is also a flip in regional. <laughs> it's pretty important. It's pretty important. Uh, there's definitely some other options though. I think for budget teams, a uh, Toxcroak is a must. And then you can add in a couple of other fighters. Like I think Hitmonchan has a lot of play, a bit bait dependent with power up punch. But if you can really ramp up, up your counter damage uh, and uh, well, just attack in general and get off a fire punch on something, that will really hurt, especially Buzzwell. Wouldn't want to see a fire punch. But overall, just kind of fall short versus the dragons, for example. That's where you would kind of want Ice Punch. So 
could maybe consider running something like Ice Punch, uh, Fire Punch as well to surprise the dragons as well. Sigma Champ, of course, staple in this meta as well. Definitely very good. Falls very... I think it's it's not in the top 5, I think. But it's like slightly below. It's very, very close. I think it is the premier mono fighter in this meta. Just because it just hits so hard with the counters when your shadow or shops hurt. You have close combat as a nice nuke move. Surfetch is pretty good too, but I think a Leaf Blade is just worse than Cross Shop in this meta. Definitely a mono you could consider, but I feel like it falls a little short to my champ. And then Throw. Throw was supposed to be the savior of this meta with, well, Zen Headbutt as a fast move. The only Pokemon with a Psychic fast move in this meta. But unfortunately, even though you have a Psychic fast move, you will lose to most of the fighters. You get kind of destroyed by by, by the dragons. Look, you weren't destroyed in every even shield scenario, I'm pretty sure. Bro, you even lose the uneven shields. If Throw uh, uses one shield and, and Komo O doesn't, you still lose. It's kind of bad. But if you want to destroy Toxicroak, Throw is definitely the way. It is the ultimate Toxic Rogue answer. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Actually, in the zeros, it's kind of close. Wait. Dynamic Punch might be a cool play on Toxic Rogue too. Oh, it, it still doesn't kill. Okay. It's good. Throw beats Toxic right? And Sneasler. And Sneasler quite hard. So if you want a good answer for, uh, for Toxic Rogue and Sneasler, throw is the way. But versus any other fighter, like my boy Champ, even straight Cross Shop, you only win zeros. You only win zeros. You do get destroyed in ones. And, well, if the Machamp runs close combat, you also lose zero. So, how, do you, how are you winning to lose here? Is the Machamp going for a close combat? What is happening? I thought we just won two. So two? Yeah, now we're winning two. I don't know what's going on. Throw really isn't going to be that good, unfortunately. All right, I think there's one more Pokemon I skipped, which I think can be pretty good. It's Polyrath. It's kind of a weird mon in this meta, since in general, everything here is doing very high fast move damage. Either with counters, either with dragon tails. Holy Wrath is different. It has much shot. It does jack shit with, uh, with its fast move. But you do a lot of charge move damage with Ice Punch and Scald. I think this could come in very handy. Ice Punch is very good versus the dragons. You actually end up losing the ones though. Wait, what you won so much of. No, you win. Okay. Look, it's not even that good. It's not even that good, but I think these even shield scenarios is not where Polyrath shines, especially when shields are up. You want to get shields down for Polyrath, and then it can really shine. Do you win this as regular, though? I think it's close. I think it's close. You win it once as regular. So maybe regular if you expect to go, if, if you don't expect you'll be able to get shields down, but if you can get shields down, Polyrath just kind of goes to town anyway that went on longer than i expected but we kind of covered most of the viable pokemon i'm just gonna quick fire some teams for you uh, that you could potentially run uh if you have like all the pokemon what i recommend is just running double dragon with any third run sneezler run buzzwall run tox croak you got a sick team right there and maybe a bit too good Honestly, pair any of these top five minus hit more chance together. You got a sick team. If you want a budget team, run Toxic Rogue together with two of the mono fighters, or maybe even Polyrath. All right, that's it. That's basically, I think, the amount of team building you can do here. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comments below. Maybe there's some magic formula of budget team I'm missing. Uh, from what it seems, the way to win in this meta uh, is to just, uh, you know, well, first off, go to Seattle to get Buzzwall, uh, then get extremely lucky and get Young Mo'os in the wild or from eggs and get these very impossible or very difficult to get Pokemon right here, the dragons, and then also maybe, uh, you know, break the TOS a little bit and get a, get a sneeze. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, honestly, maybe don't play Fighting Cup. <laughs> maybe don't play Fighting Cup. It's kind of the gist here. But, you know, let me know if you want some Fighting Cup videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Good luck to your Bowser